Recording MIDI in Cubase is a pretty straightforward affair. I'll begin by creating an instrument track and then loading a preset. Next up, I'll want to set my tempo. Now to hear the tempo that the song is currently set to, I'll begin by turning on the metronome. I can either press the button down the bottom here or use the shortcut C. I can begin playback on the transport by pressing spacebar. Now to change the tempo, you can either click and drag on the tempo field, double click to enter an exact value, or you can go to project, beat calculator, and then use Tap Tempo. And then I'll just insert the tempo at the beginning of the tempo track. Next, I need to set my locators. Locators are used to define the cycle range that you're working within. You can set them by either clicking and dragging, or by using the shortcut Control and left click on the ruler to set the left locator, and Alternate and left click to set the right. On the Mac, this would be Command and Control respectively. Next, I'll enable cycle, and again, you can either do this by pressing the button or using the shortcut forward slash on the numpad. So by default, recording will begin wherever the playhead is set to. So for instance, if I set this playing for a bar or two, I'll want to move the playhead back to the left locator. To do that, I can either press one on the numeric keypad or use the button on the transport to go to left locator position. Lastly, I can engage record either by pressing record on the transport or again using the shortcut asterisk on the numeric keypad. And we'll just bring the tempo down a notch to around 128. Now you'll probably have noticed that Cubase has recorded my playing with all of its timing inconsistencies intact. Now to change that, I can either select the part and then press Q to apply quantization. And you'll see that it's snapped the notes onto the musical grid. Alternatively, I can enable auto quantize, and this just means that Cubase will place the notes onto the musical grid as I record. So let's try that again. The resolution that you quantize to is set at the top in the quantize presets. Here you can get access to triplets for a more swingy feel, as well as higher quantize resolutions all the way up to 1 1 28th. But most of the time I just leave this set to 1 16th. Also, if you find that the pre count is too long, this can be changed by going to transport and then metronome setup. And then here I can change the number of bars counting to 1. So this seems like a good place to take a break, and I'll catch you in the next chapter.